Hi everybody! Welcome and thank you so much for checking out my channel. My name is Tani and I'm an independent author and somebody who just really loves great stories. So on this channel I talk about writing, books I've enjoyed, and lessons I've learned on my publishing journey. One of the skills that I've picked up as an indie author is book formatting, and that is something that I've actually come to really enjoy, especially for print books. And it's something that, honestly, I think I've gotten pretty good at over the years. I will pop up some images on the screen so you can see what some of my books look like on the inside. I have done the print formatting myself for all of these books, and I plan to continue doing that for any books that I self-publish in the future. I've gotten several questions and comments about my book formatting, and people are usually pretty surprised to learn that I do my formatting in Microsoft Word. I realize that Microsoft Word is not the best formatting software out there, but it is something that a lot of writers have access to already, and you can actually do a lot with it if you know how to. In this video series, I am sharing some tips and tricks that I've learned that hopefully you can use to format your own books if you decide that you want to do that as well. Today I am going to show you the very last thing that I like to do with my print book formatting, and it's the very last thing because it's the most tedious, it's the most time consuming, and you want to save it until the book is completely finished because, as you're going to see, we are going to change a bunch of things if you end up making substantial changes to the book later, it's just going to completely throw this all off, and so it's pointless to do it until you have a completely finished manuscript, everything else has been formatted. Really what we're doing is just putting the nice final finishing touches, making sure that everything looks absolutely perfect before we publish this book. So here we have our pirate book that we've been working on. Everything else has been formatted, it's looking good, we're going to assume that all the text in the book is correct and ready to go, and I'm going to scroll through here and I'm going to show you some little things that are just a little bit off or maybe not looking as good as they could. What we're evaluating here is the spacing of the text, where does the text fall on the page, where does it line up in paragraphs, things like that. So these first few pages look okay. I'm not seeing anything weird over here, but if we look down here at page seven, we have these two words up at the very top. They're just two teeny little tiny words. They look kind of weird. It's not the most visually appealing and they're just kind of hanging out by themselves up there. If we keep scrolling down, I'm just looking really quickly, scanning for any issues that we might see and there's nothing too major. This right here, so we have this whole page, this chapter, everything's looking good, but then we just have these two last lines that are just kind of by themselves and then this entire blank page and I think we can clean that up too. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're going to come back up here to page seven where we had that issue right here. So these two words hanging out by themselves, I don't really like that. I would really like them to just be on this page over here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try to condense this text a little bit so that we can get those two lines moved back over here to where the rest of the paragraph is. The way that we do that is we're going to highlight the whole paragraph and then I'm going to go over to the home tab and the font section. And if we click over here on this advanced tab, you can adjust the spacing a little bit. I don't necessarily want to start by expanding the spacing. I feel like then we're just going to have, you know, this may be slightly longer or a few more words, but it would be better if we could condense the text and get those two words over here with this paragraph. So I'm going to try that. And when you do this, you really don't want to go by like whole points in that section. You just want to do it like 0.1 at a time. So if we do that, we can see that that's already enough to move that over here. If it wasn't enough, I might go up to 0.2 or even 0.3, but I probably wouldn't go any higher than that just because once you start condensing it too much, it starts to look really weird. But where it's just at point one, I mean, if you look at that, it really does not look that much different from the rest of the text around it. So that point one is not making a big difference. It's fine. We'll just do that. I know some people get really picky with like single lines that might get left at the bottom of a page. So we'll look at this one right here. This is a new paragraph and it does continue over 
to this other page, but this first line is just kind of hanging out by itself on this side of the page. So if you wanted to fix that and you wanted to move this over here with the rest of the paragraph, I think what's going to work best for this one is actually to expand this paragraph that's right above it. You can see that this is already over almost to the end of the line. So if we just go in and expand it a little bit, it might bump things down enough to put that that line below with the rest of the paragraph. So we're going to start again with point one and that did end up working out pretty good and it bumped that all over. Once you do start doing that, then you'll notice that like, see, even though we fixed that line, then we've got this one. So it bumped it, you know, onto this next page which isn't maybe ideal. So if you if you start getting really picky with it, then it just gets to be kind of tedious and frustrating. I have had situations where I've tried to line everything up just right and make sure that there's no, you know, hanging lines by themselves or anything like that. But honestly, it just gets to be where it's really not worth it. You end up messing up a bunch of different things when you start doing that. So it's up to you how you want to go about that, but sometimes it's just not worth the effort. The other thing to keep in mind with this is that you want to start at the very top and work your way down. You don't want to be starting at the bottom and then working your way up because when you adjust things at the top, then it ends up sometimes adjusting all your spacing after that and you can mess up all the work that you did earlier. So you really just wanna start at the beginning and work your way down. That's why we say this until the very, very last step. We're gonna keep scrolling down and looking at the rest of this book, see how everything looks, make sure there's nothing else. Another thing that sometimes I get a little picky about is like this word hanging by itself down here. It's not my favorite. Also, the rest of this paragraph looks kind of spaced out like just really spaced out a lot of space between the words and the letters. So that might be one that I go in and condense a little bit just because to see if it looks any better. Um, and that does look a little better to me. So we'll just leave that like that and we'll keep scrolling down one page at a time, just checking everything out. Those all look okay. This, we do have kind of a another big blank page over here, but it's like two whole paragraphs. And honestly, I feel like that's gonna be really hard to change and get it to be just right. However, just for fun, let's go ahead and see if we can get these four lines moved up over to this page just so I can show you what that might look like if you were to try to do something like that. We'll go ahead and condense that a little bit and that moved a little bit and then this line is another line right here where we just have one word hanging off the end so we'll go ahead and try to condense him too. That didn't work. Let's see if we can go ahead and do point two and that ended up working. You can see even at point two, the words do start to look a little more squished together. I'm not sure that readers would really necessarily be able to notice that, but when you're doing this formatting yourself, it does start to get noticeable to you maybe as you're, as you're working on it. It looks like we still got two lines that need to come up. So I'm just gonna go through and look for lines that maybe could be condensed a little bit. I typically like to condense my spacing if I can. Once you start expanding it, I just feel like it looks kind of weird and the spacing gets to be more noticeable. So I don't like to do that if I don't have to. And now we just have this one line by itself and I'm really not seeing much else. Maybe we'll try this last one. Oh, that worked. So now you can see that we have this line that's brought up over to here with the rest of the page. And now we have chapter three starting on an entirely different page and that's fine. We'll go ahead and scroll down through chapter three as well and just see if we have anything weird going on. I'm not seeing anything that I'm too concerned about. Um, we can try to get this moved over as well. Maybe we'll try that. So again, I'm just kind of looking for paragraphs that are maybe a little bit, they've got that last word just hanging off the end and we'll go ahead and just try to condense that a little bit and get that blank page to where it's moved with the rest and we don't have that blank page. And then this paragraph, and now we should be good. Yep, so we have that line all moved over with the rest of the page. So that's something that you just wanna do as like a finishing touch just to get everything lined up and looking as best as you possibly can. There are going to be times where it's absolutely just impossible to get those last few lines moved over or to completely get everything looking perfect. I try not to get too 
crazy with this and try not to be too picky about it. Honestly, I think it's it's not something that readers are going to be super concerned about or care about that much. If you can make it work, that's great. But if you can't get it to work, like don't stress over it. Don't worry about it. Just do what you can. And you know, you don't want to be spending hours and hours of time trying to get everything perfect. It's never going to be perfect. We just kind of have to work with it the best we can. But that is the last thing that you want to be doing for your formatting, just going through, making sure you don't have any lines hanging off the end of the page or, you know, entire blank pages at the very end of your chapters. We have this beautiful book that's all formatted now and it's ready to publish. If you look at the description box down below, I have linked a sample Word document that you can download and play around with some of this formatting yourself. It's a document that has already been formatted. It looks just like the one that I just showed you in the video. If this video was useful to you, please hit that like button and be sure to leave a comment down below to let me know what you think or to let me know if there's other things that you want me to cover in this video series. Be sure to subscribe and ring the bell if you want to be notified as soon as I post more videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye!